All right, today we're going to be messing with the Cub Cadet Zero Turn um, I-1050. Um, set up for upstate hills and mud and such. Um, it's been leaking oil. Too nice of a day to not come out and mess with it today. The camera's going to pick it up, but right under there, this valve is leaking oil everywhere. In turn, it's down there. It's dripping on the electronic PTO and kind of shorting it out a little bit. So, the plan here is I'm going to take that valve out and replace it with just a regular... Just a regular um, piece of pipe. You know, let's have the pipe come out to here. Um, to avoid any future leakage problems. And obviously grease it all up once I get it running again. There's no oil in it right now. And I think the starter is loose or it's working its way loose there's an issue with the starter too it doesn't grip the flywheel properly um, I think it's got 500 and some hours on it if not more I'm going to put the charger on the battery let it warm up a little bit while I'm getting this valve out down here and then uh, we'll take it from there see what we can't do here. It's a Kohler Courage motor, engine rather, uh, 25 horsepower, built especially for Cub Cadet. So, all right, let's get to work. All right, here's what the uh, poor excuse of a drain valve Kohler used. It, obviously it leaks never seals properly. I've heard a lot of people having problems with these. So what I'm going to do is just get a, pi a piece of pipe. See the hole down there? I'm just going to get a piece of pipe threaded into the hole and put a cap on it for when we need to drain the oil. I'll probably have it stop somewhere right around here with the cap. Um, be the easiest thing. There's really no good, no good way to put anything here. So, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to go run to Home Depot. I'm going to go run out and grab um, a piece of pipe. We can put that back together and get an oil filter while I'm out. Put it all back together. Uh, see the battery's charging. It's putting out like 2.5 amps. So it should be charged by the time I get back. Man, it is really nice today. So, that's the plan with that. Get that button back up and have this thing running today. Alright, so we got the oil filter off. It's fun right off. Um, I just ran out to the store, just got back. Cleaned the mounting surface off here so we can put the new oil filter on. Looks good. All right, here's the new filter. Got a genuine color filter. I know it's, it says on the side. Fill, you know, fill it up, let it penetrate a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. So here we go. Gotta put the camera down to fill it up a little. Bit. I don't know if you can tell, but see the oil sloshing around in there. Let's let that wick into the filter element and I'll show you what my design is here for the 
drain plug. A good spot to put this. All right. Here's the old drain. It sucked. Okay. Here's a piece of 3 8 by 3 inch galvanized pipe. 3 8 coupler that goes on the end. Right there. Alright, there it is. And I have a 3 8 cap plug. It goes right on the end like that. Obviously, thread tape, thread tape, and thread tape on the inside of there. Well, on the left side of the plug, rather. And that's going to be the new drain. Just like that. And you can actually drain it right out the side here. You can hold the bucket right under here and drain it into. That other valve stopped in here and it just sprayed oil. It doesn't spray it, but it oil went everywhere. All over the PTO and deck. and So this is going to be a better, better fitment. So let me go ahead and assemble that. I think I'm actually going to use the 4 inch galvanized instead of the 3. I'm going to just want to light it out a little bit farther. Make it a little bit easier to drain. So let me pull that out. I'll put the 4 inch on so it looks like. Alright, so here's the assembly 4 inch galvanized pipe, 3 8 coupler, and a 3 8 plug. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. That'll fit just in there, just like that. And you can drain the oil right out the side here. It is much better than the factory design, which drained the oil in here and it ran back under the block and over the PTO and all. So, I'm going to go ahead and thread tape that and then permanently install it. And then we should be good. We'll fill it with oil and we'll check for leaks. Alright, now we got both ends of the 4 inch galvan galvanized uh, pipe threaded. I'm going to go ahead and one side thread on the coupler and then I'm going to use the coupler pliers around the coupler to screw the whole nipple into the block, the whole assembly. So let me go ahead and assemble that. We'll get to that. Alright, there's the new drain set up. Nice and snug on there. That's tight on there. Uh, we're going to fill it with oil. Let's see what happens. We got her running. keeps coming on but not low oil pressure so that's good 550 hours I gotta go find the key so I can move it to wash the rest of the oil off the residue all right we're out here all right we're out here looking at the starter there's definitely teeth missing off of this flywheel. There's some spot there. There's a spot back there. So what I did with the starter here is I used some lithium spray. It was rusted up pretty badly under here. I don't know if you can see it, but that gear track I used uh, dry, um, I'm sorry, not lithium, I used um, a dry Teflon lubricant, so when it dries it won't collect dirt, so that's what we got going on there, now it moves nicely, it won't get hung up on the flywheel hopefully, but it's probably going to need to be replaced in the year, so if 
not sooner in their use. Uh, PTO still does not work. So I'm going to bolt this back down now. We'll fire it up. Alright, got it all bolted back up. The air filter needs to be replaced horribly. I'll have to get one of them. Right, let's put the choke on. Headlights stay on all the time. Kind of pointless in your backyard during the middle of the day. Since the whole machine is a pretty bright yellow as it is. 